Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why men who get emotionally attached to a woman, why that woman now views you as a survival liability. What you have to remember 24 seven is that a woman is optimizing for survival, which means any amount of weakness that you show, whether that be, um, you know, emotional weakness, emotional attachment, any sort of behavior that demonstrates that you as a man are losing your strength or fortitude, this is going to make the relationship start to dissolve very quickly. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly why this happens and exactly how you can put the right steps in place. So that way this never happens in your relationship and you can maintain the correct masculine to feminine dynamic. Now, after this video is over, be sure to go down below, click the link in the description and check out the MBT masculine behavioral technique full length end to end webinar presentation that I put together for you. Because inside of that you're going to be seeing how 1000s of students have been using MBT to totally transform their dating life. Let's dive in. Okay, there's so many false beliefs and misconceptions that we have to work through together on today's video. And it starts by truly understanding and identifying like the fact as it is, okay, objectively, objectively looking at the fact that women treat men who become attached as a survival liability. I know that that's a bold statement, but just hear me out. Any form of emotional attachment to a woman is a turnoff. And here's why a lot of the false beliefs that men sell themselves would be these three right here. So the first thing that a guy will say is he goes, Oh, you know, I just need to find the right girl, right? Finding the right girl for you. Okay, this is the first thing that you're going to hear, you might have your friends tell you this, you might have your parents tell you this, you might have co workers tell you this, you know, you just need to find the right girl for you. Okay, the second thing that you're going to hear is, oh, you just need to find a good one who doesn't pull away. The third thing that you're going to hear is you're going to hear people say, well, you need to just find one who's different. Okay, what you're going to notice is that when it comes to dating women, it is not about any of these all of this is complete bullshit. If you buy into any of this, like it doesn't matter what type of girl you're with or where she's from or what she does for a living or what her beliefs are internally, she cannot control her own attraction, which also means internally, she cannot control what turns her off. This is hardwiring. This is biology. She's not able to change that about herself. And she's not able to change it to make it suit your needs. So it's about accepting these truths. So that way you don't feel bitter. That way you don't feel pissed off at certain things in life, you're able to just see the facts. If you can see the facts, things get things get a lot easier. So what you have to remember with women is it's not her consciously being mean to you in any way, shape or form. It is not her consciously being mean to you. It's biology. She cannot control it. So when you become attached to a woman as a man, she feels that you are now a liability, meaning you are you are in a, a, a mindset or excuse me, you have put her in a mindset where she views you negatively, you become a liability to her, which means she wants to start to get rid of you. She wants to start to push you away. She wants to exit the relationship to hopefully find a better replacement, that better replacement, she's hoping is more competent, stronger, smarter, and a better fit. And I know that, that might sound harsh, but that's the truth. So you have to internalize the truth. Women only respect strength. So the reason why I keep saying this is biology is because strength, like if you think about it 500 years ago, 1000 years ago, 2000 years ago, strength in hunter gatherer days or times equals zero weakness, because survival was harder. So that's the hardwiring that you're working with strength in hunter gatherer days or times equals a man can have zero weakness. The second that she senses weakness, watch her flip on you. When I say flip on you, meaning flip her emotional state from she hot to cold, she can go from sweet to rude, she can go from loving you to hating you like that. Watch how fast she can flip the switch. Once that that switch has been flipped, and she views you differently, it is virtually impossible to change her perception of you because she now views you as a liability to survival. So the reason why this is so important to understand is because guys oftentimes think that the more time you spend with a woman that this is going to equal something. So when I say equal something, here's what I mean. Let's say let's say you have a, a, a best friend, okay, your best friend named Frank, okay, or john, you're you've been friends with Frank or john for 10 15 years. Okay. So you don't want to, to ruin that that relationship that you have with john like you guys are together. And like he has your back and you have his back. 
And the time spent, that equity that you've put into that relationship or that friendship with John probably means something to you. And it probably means something to him because you guys have grown like a, a, a area of a relationship where you guys feel like you have each other's backs and you guys are bros or you guys are homies. Okay. If that's your bro, you're looking at him in that light with women. It doesn't operate that way. She can know you like, like she, she can get to know you for one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years. Even you can be in a, a 20 year relationship or you can even be married. It doesn't matter. The amount of time you spend with a woman is completely irrelevant to how she views you. The second that she views you as weak or the second that she views you as emotionally attached where you cannot walk away, you're willing to tolerate disrespect. Her biology sends off a, a red flag in her mind and goes, Hey, this guy can't protect you. This guy is not strong. This guy has lost all self-respect for himself and will now tolerate anything. This is why women will purposefully test you. This is why they will act rude to you. This is why they will act distant. She senses that weakness. Women only respect strength. This is the truth. The second that she senses any weakness, watch her flip the switch and go from hot to cold, sweet to rude, loving you to hating you instantly. And what you're going to notice is it's an instant flip. It's like, you're going to watch. There's a split second where something happens in her attitude or something happens in her demeanor. And you can watch in that one split second, something changed. And once that one thing changes, you will not be able to change that perception or that identity that she's now placed onto you that you probably now have in her brain. So keep that in mind. Attachment equals, Hey, this guy cannot protect me. And now what happens is she actually starts to hate you. She can go from loving you or claiming that she loves you. But in actuality, all she loves is she loves how you make her feel in that one moment, which means you probably made her feel secure, safe. She felt stable with you. And then the wrong thing came out of your mouth. Okay. And you said the wrong thing or you initiated intimacy or you wanted to hold her hand or you were doing these emotional gestures that led to weak body language or weak tonality. And now all of a sudden she doesn't like you. Now she's repelled. She, she's like repulsed by even like looking at you. She get, she wants to repel you away from her. She wants to push you away and she can't control this. This is what you got to remember. Like she literally can't control it. It's not even like her, it's her biology. So the same way, like guys are attracted to certain things and you get turned off by certain things that a woman does. It's the same thing for women. They're attracted to certain things and they get turned off by certain things and they can't control it. It's just how life happens. It's just how life works. So she feels that you're a liability if you have any form of emotional attachment. Now taking this a step further, what women will try to do, okay, that you're dating is women will oftentimes try to get you to make very poor decisions just to see if you will take that bait and listen to her or follow her lead. So here's what I mean by this. She's always testing your strength, your competence, your interest. Okay. Now in a lot of past and previous videos, I've called them interest tests because they truly are interest tests. But let me give you an example. If she's testing you to make, to try to make it where you take bait and you allow yourself to be led to a poor decision. She's testing your competency, but I don't want to call it a competency test. And here's why. Despite her testing your competency, what she's really testing is your interest level because by you saying yes and listening to the poor decision or you making that poor decision, it's, it's in a way testing your interest because she sees your interest is so high. You're not able to say no. So here's what I mean by this. Here's an example. Let's say a guy has a thriving business. So let's say the guy's making 5 million bucks a year. Let's just make something hypothetical. A guy has a thriving business. The woman he's with, she goes, shut it down, shut down that business and take, take time off of work to spend with me. Okay. Spend more time with me, take time off work to see me more. So now he goes from working 60 hours a week now to working 30 and now the business starts to decline. So he listened, he, he listens to her. He followed her lead in the back of her brain. She's going to go, okay, the test has been failed. He failed the test. He's failed the interest test because his interest is so sky high. He's willing to override his own competency to please me, which shows how high his interest is. That's an interest indicator. And you now failed. Okay. 
she's going to sit there and go, this guy now followed my lead and now she exits. And she's going to sit there and go, look at that. This guy's so attached. This guy's so emotionally weak for me. I was able to shut down his thriving business by getting him to make one poor decision just by telling him to. That's how attracted to me he is. You have failed the interest test. So if a woman's testing your competency, if a woman's testing your attachment, if a woman's testing, um, if, if, she, if she can move you off center emotionally, everything boils down to interest. The higher your interest becomes, the lower her interest is. It's an inverse relationship. This is why your job as a man is to stay steady and to stay stable. 24 seven, if you, if you can maintain your own emotional strength and your own internal fortitude, you will win. And you won't win just with your dating life, you'll win in all areas in life. Most people make very poor decisions in life because they're far too emotionally volatile. The way that their emotions pull them shifts a lot of things. It shifts their tone of voice, it shifts their self image. Um, it, it changes how they view themselves. Like if you can control that aspect of your life, you become powerful from the inside out. So keep that in mind. Now with women, it is all about survival. When she sees that you go weak for her beauty, her as a person or her intimacy, you become a walking liability. This woman is going to look at you and go, he is too weak to protect me. He's too weak to make the proper decisions. I, I can I can even get him to make a poor decision and he ta and he listens to me and follows that lead. I could get this guy to shut down his business. I can get this guy to do whatever I want just because I'm pretty. This is what she thinks. You now become a walking liability. She needs to see strength, okay? And you're not going. This is why I tell you you have to fix the false beliefs. When you have parents, when you have coworkers, when you have friends that say just find the right girl for you. Uh, finding a good one who won't pull away, find one who's different, find a good girl. When are you going to settle down? When are you going to do this? You got to understand the, the rest of the people in your, in your social circle or who you know is still going to try to get you to believe the false beliefs. You can't do it because they're not true and they won't serve you. She will only respect strength. Okay. And it starts by detaching from the false beliefs that you've listened to over the years. Every relationship that I've ever been and the reason why I tell you this too is because you can go on you can go on 50 dates this next year, you can go on 100 dates this next year. I don't care if you're in a long term relationship or if you're just casually dating or seeing people uh, randomly or just going on some dates here or there. You got to realize this man, all of them are going to be testing your interest. All of them only respect strength. All of them despise weakness and emotional attachment. The sooner you can internalize that, the sooner you're going to win and actually elevate your status in her eyes. Okay, keep that in mind. When you go weak for her, you become a walking liability. She needs to see strength. Every relationship that I've ever been in with a woman over the past 10 years, the decisions that I've made, okay, when it's the right decision, and she still tried to like pull me off center. Meaning sometimes she would get like, if the woman would get angry about the decision I made, if the woman would say that's wrong, if they would say, how can you do that? No, you need to do it this way. They all do it and they all will do it to you too. Every decision that I've ever made, that's the right one. When I've stuck to it, it's always equaled more respect. When I've said, Hey, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that you, that you think that this is how I'm doing it. That's final. I don't care. Well, okay. I'm glad you feel that way. I don't care. When you put your foot down like that, you gotta understand it will always equal more respect. And in the short term, they might fuss about it. They might holler. They might say something, but you've elevated your status in her eyes. She will respect you more. And you gotta understand that's her job 24 seven is to pull you off center. This is what you gotta understand. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Those of you who want relationships and you want love and chemistry and things to be smooth, it will never, ever, 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 ever be that way. Her job 24 seven is to optimize survival. Her job 24 seven is to test your strength and test your competency. If you want to get into a relationship with a woman, you need to know what you're signing up for. You are signing up for interest test after interest test, competency test after competency test, making sure that you are on your masculine frame and centered 24 seven. She's evaluating you. 
So this whole idea that, you know, we're gonna lay on the couch and eat popcorn every night and eat enchiladas and watch TV, you have to understand this. The closer you get to her, the closer you build an emotional connection, the more um, emotional attachment you build where you're like, oh my gosh, I love this woman, the less she likes you. And that's just how it goes. And the more you can just internalize that and see that for what it is, it makes sense because it's all about survival. It's all about survival. They want the strongest genes. How do you show that you have the strongest genes by having the, the best competency? How do you prove you have the best competency? Well, you take care of your body. You, you, you stay on your purpose. You make money, right? You take care of your health. You make the right decisions. You don't get emotionally attached. You do everything that a man's man would do. And then she looks at you and she goes, oh my gosh, that's, that's my guy. She looks at you and she goes, that's my husband. She looks at you and goes, that's the guy worth competing for. She looks at you and she goes, that's the guy I want to invest time, energy, love, and care into. And you have to understand this. It makes life a lot easier. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.